This event was only placing the Aditya L1 in the precise halo orbit. So it was moving towards the high orbit, but we had to do a little bit of corrections to put it at the right place. So something like a 31 meter per second velocity has to be given cumulatively to, in, uh, to the satellite to keep it at the right uh, orientation. So basically it's a halo orbit, it's an orbit which uh, moves around L1 point with a size of 6 lakh kilometer in one direction, uh, 2 plus lakh in one, another dimension, 3, 1 lakh in one lakh kilometer in another dimension. So it formed like an egg. So in this new orbit it has to be placed, it has to be very precisely put. If you don't do the correction today, it will escape from this point. Okay, we will not allow it to escape if it does not happen. There are some contingencies, but I am only telling mathematically it can escape. So that has been very precisely done. Ultimately what we achieved today is exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement. The computer decided to cut off at the uh, accelerometer based cutoff has happened. So uh, right now it is at the, in our calculation it is at the right place. But we are going to monitor for next few hours to see whether it is at the right place. Mm -hmm. Then if it is slightly drifted we may have to do a little bit of correction now and we don't expect that to happen. How important role this can play sir because as far as understanding the sun is concerned. See the scientific aspect of uh, this particular mission has already been well described uh, because uh, it is going to look at the solar coronal mass ejection, CME, basically using a primary instrument called the, the VELC, which is uh, developed by Indian Institute of Astrophysics. And uh, this will uh, look at the corona part of the uh, uh, sun, almost three times its diameter, yeah. uh, distance away. And uh, corroborating that, there will be other measurements, uh, which is again uh, by a payload called SUIT, which is an uh, which is going to look at the entire disk of the sun in uh, ultraviolet in various frequency bands, which is already images have been, we have already put out in the website. We also have particle measurements uh, in the, um, what is coming out of the sun by the payload called the PAPA. Then we also have X-ray measurements, which is in low energy and high energy X-ray measurement. We also have magnetometer, which looks at the space magnetic field, which is coming for because of these ejections. So it is a, and so, eh? So, yeah, solar wind is essentially the particle uh, emission which is happening. So, we look at all of this in a, in a very correlated manner, which is very unique part of this mission. This is not only a national mission, but also the international community. See, everybody is looking at it, yeah, because uh, understanding sun is not important for India alone. It's central for the entire global. So, this is what precisely after Chandrayantri landing also our Honorable Prime Minister told. Chandrayantri is for the whole of the world, not for India alone. Yeah. So the solar mission Aditya L1 is also for the whole of this uh, world, for all of us to understand and make use of this scientific importance. So here the Im impact is on the space weather. You know, space weather is more co controlled by such activities, especially the uh, behavior of the uh, sun, which affects our magnetic external fields and then its uh, impact more on northern latitude and southern latitude, which is more dominant in southern latitude, northern latitudes and of course southern latitude, not much in the equatorial region. So it is more dominant for areas other than India, precisely, to, to be technically correct. So that way a lot of people are interested uh, to understand this effect. So we look forward to a lot of scientific outcome come in the coming days. At least five years of life is guaranteed with the fuel left out in the satellite also.